Today we're going to be working on these tag-filled Christmas card pockets. Hello everyone, it's Maddie Azar. And Madison from Spectrum Art Creations. And we are going to be working on a super fun project and we hope that you guys will come along. For this, we're going to need only two sheets. We're using the Bow Bunny Christmas Collage um, two sheet collection that we have in our store. From these two sheets, two 12 by 12s, we're gonna be able to make two of these projects, which we're going to be using for the exchange, our Christmas card exchange in our Facebook group. In step one, we're going to cut out our tags and ephemera. In step two, we're going to punch our holes and we're going to insert our eyelets. I was so delighted that this was one of the projects that Madison and I got to work on together. It was fun. It was a lot of fun. So you're gonna see that we collaborated on the Christmas cards to share with our friends. If you are new to our channel, please do read the description box down below and learn a little bit more about Madison and I and the reason behind our channel. Step three, we're gonna round our corners. These are gonna be so much fun due to the fact that our idea is to not only exchange a card, but to give our fellow crafters something that they can actually use later on. The idea is so they can repurpose it. Exactly, yes. So they can use all the tags later on, right? Yeah, to, to use on their journals too. Journals or gift giving, yes. Yep. Step four is clear embossing. So the neat concept about these pockets, it's not only that they are filled with pieces, ephemera, and tags that they can reuse, as we mentioned, but also the fact that they will actually be able to also use the pocket itself. It is a trifold, which will contain uh, multiple pockets, and then a back piece, which we're going to leave open, and you'll see this later on, so that they can include it into, as Madison said, a journal. Uh, they can also use it as a flip, because we're gonna leave a bottom piece to this, uh, actually open, unclosed, and that way they can choose how they want to use it. So these Christmas card pockets not only come with goodies, but they give the user a lot of versatility to incorporate it into future projects or even separate it into multiple projects. Step five is distressing. I love this. Distressing, it's my relaxing time. It is. Uh, you're right. Um, whenever there's distressing or distressing's out, you know Madison's all over that. So she loves to distress all of the pieces for our projects. And you do an excellent job. In step six, we're going to cut down our 12 by 12 into two parts. We're gonna cut it in half into a six by 12, two six by 12s actually. And we are going to use that to cut out our pocket. Now, that would be step seven, which Madison here is showing us how she used the machine to die cut the trifold. If you do not have this die, the concept is the same. You can still, you know, make your own, but Again, if you need um, these sheets, I will be linking them down below in the description box so that you can purchase them if you'd like. We have a few left in store, not a whole lot, because we sold most of them on our Saturday sales. Sale. <laughs> That's right. So make sure if you haven't joined us for our sales on Saturday that you do. We have live YouTube sales. It um, is really funny to wait. We do our games. Oh yeah, we play games, we do giveaways, we show great products, so we certainly hope you join us. And step eight, use your bone folder to burnish down the folds. I am really glad that we use this collection for the cards. Yeah, they turned out really fabulous. At least we didn't have to grab our paints or modeling paste or stencils or texture paste. Yeah, we didn't have to because it kind of had that mixed media feel to it already, yeah, right? Like, like lines from the stencil. Yeah, it almost had like stenciled pattern on those papers. So it was really easy to work with. And um, it, 
a very honestly to get two full projects out of just a couple of 12 by 12s and have them loaded it was just a really beautiful beautiful it's, paper it's line actually, to work with it's actually a rhombus <laughs> those are rhombuses yes. yes yes i love them i absolutely love that pattern and i love the fact that you make me sound like a really good teacher right yeah. i mean that was cool yes see i'm doing a good homeschooling job mm -hmm. back on track step nine we're going to use our scraps to get some extra pieces because nothing goes to waste so from the scraps i've pulled two pieces one is going to be a pocket and then the other one I'm going to turn into a tag. So the smaller piece you see on the right hand side will end up being a bottom pocket for the inside flap. And then the larger piece I am going to turn into mini tags. In step 10, we're going to distress the trifold on the outside now typically that's your favorite. My favorite part it is your favorite but you did go to bed right because mm -hmm. it was late at night so i did it for you is that okay peaches peaches i love it now the neat thing about our christmas card swap in our facebook group is that members get to choose how many people they would like to swap with whether it's international or just domestic within the u.s whether they want store-bought cards or homemade etc etc et so there's a lot of flexibility and we chose six partners right yep. to swap with so we hope that they will love these and step 11 is to add a closure yes and this is something that we kind of went back and forth uh, we talked about magnets right mm -hmm. we talked about buttons we talked about velcro lace. we talked about lace and again we wanted to give that versatility so we finally decided on something quite simple we did an elastic closure it's just a little band uh, of elastic and this way folks can either reuse it take or if it they off. want to, yeah they take just it take it right off they can cut the elastic uh, and still be able to use the embossed piece the round piece that we've circle. done the medallion circles correct mm -hmm. so again just trying to make sure that when we were creating we were thinking along the way of what is going to give these fellow artists the flexibility to be able to reuse and maximize as much of this as possible in step 12 we're going to close our pockets now this is where we had a lot of options but again we wanted to make sure that we gave whomever's going to be the recipient all those options that they can choose so the front one is going to be a pocket the middle one is going to become a second pocket on the back and then the third flap which is the back one the tall one is going to remain an open piece okay and of course we worked on just a little bit of decorating nothing too permanent uh, because again we wanted to give them all the pieces to work with in case they wanted to make a mini journal so we use some of the apex clips which we also have available in the store and i'll put that link down below for you guys um, but like i mentioned it's all about just letting them use all of these pieces separate the front is a pocket they can use the middle is a pocket and the back can be made into a pocket or it can also be used as a flip because that bottom piece that you see there, although it's designed to close off the pocket, we are not going to close it. We're gonna leave it there. And I, we kind of went back and forth, right? Madison mm -hmm. debating whether to cut it. See, I just kind of tucked it in. We went back and forth whether to just snip it because it doesn't, you know, look so great when it's just kind of hanging there and you might wonder well why would you just leave that flap there again the recipient can choose do they want to cut it off and just use this as a trifold mm -hmm. or do they want to use that to hinge that on to a page for example or to close it and turn it into a pocket as well so again trying to think of the versatility so that 
every last piece of this can be flexible for the recipient to use. Now, it is a Christmas card, right? That's what it's meant to be. That was the swap. That's what the swap was all about. So we did add a sentiment and a Christmas card, which is completely removable. And I clipped that on to that back piece, as you saw. Uh, and once I do the project, I bring it up and hold it up. You'll see that as well. But we did add our Christmas sentiment and greetings. And here we have the six completed pockets. And as you can see from just two 12 by 12s, we have been able to create two fun-filled pockets, uh, trifolds full of ephemera and tags, and we now have something that hopefully our crafty friends will be able to reuse. Obviously, we created six of these for our swap, so we ended up using three sets of the two page 12 mm -hmm. by 12s, right? Mm -hmm. I hope you guys enjoyed it please give us a big thumbs up oh yes thank you yes let us know did you like it is was it, it something, something you make yeah was it something that you guys will try to make uh something that you'd like to receive what do you think about the paper line we would love your feedback mm -hmm. thank you so much for joining us today in the art studio i hope you share with friends share with friends and merry christmas merry christmas mm -hmm.